Billions and trillions are about to inflow into the crypto market right here, right now. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss channel. Thank you for being here with me. Truly appreciate it. I see the views are slowly but surely starting to pick up once again. So I'm hoping that with this video, we shall make a great impact on your decision, your investment decisions going forward, considering that this will now be, you'll see that when I publish this video, this will be the thousandth video for the channel. So truly appreciate you very much for being here, part of that entire journey so far. Now let's go and tackle exactly the news that you wanna be hearing right now. So let's start off with some of the most insane, ridiculous energy. So to begin this journey, we can see that this is a chart of Bitcoin's ups and downs. It's sideways, it's long ways, it's up ways, it's down ways. It's always, and so always being the key, we need to have a great understanding of inflows. And so this very beautiful, colly, colorful, pretty um, histogram that I have here on the back is a description of none other than the Lux Algo stablecoin dominance gradient. And hence that this gradient is made up of the for the top coins. And those coins shall be none other than USDT, USDC, uh, DAI, TUSD, and so business. And we shall see, and business means uh, what business owns that amount of stable coins and those stable coins. So you can see the businesses are one of the very least, and so is the TUSD. Now, of course, something that we need to participate here on this video, and make sure you're making some crazy noise down there on the comments of this video because right now what i'm about to show you is going to absolutely blow and obliterate your mind now this is where the bitcoin dominance chart essentially started and so right here kind of pulling down you can see that in alignment with this this was heading towards the bottom of the market then all of a sudden we had this major rally um, which put some liquidity back into the market here and then those people used that liquidity to put back into crypto. Now, very interestingly so, that's why the stablecoin dominance, it's why it's called that, depletes once we see massive movements from stablecoins into cryptocurrencies. And look at that beautiful level that essentially, once the market is set, reached this point, all of the stablecoin dominance was kind of depleted and therefore stablecoin dominance now started to increase but interestingly so this time stablecoin dominance has increased with the price increasing where does that leave us okay we're going to find out in a few moments so make sure to stay tuned right to the very end of the video and in the meantime if you want to go and trade and buy bitcoin on spot derivatives whatever it is that you'd like to do you can get yourself up to thirty thousand dollar deposit bonus with me using my buyback link down below and so we've broken out of this trend line, we've retested and we're slowly creeping up. What shall we be doing considering that this is the four hour and so this is the day time frame. Use my Bitflex link down below, get yourself $88,888 deposit bonus. And very, very simply put, you can see there that we have a very, very beautiful and unfolding megaphone pattern that is essentially there. So right now, this is a massive, massive bull flag, okay? Cup and handle pattern even on the even higher time frame. So for now, use my links down below. I'll leave them in the description and pinned up for you. Thanks for being here. All right, let's go and tackle this. So you can see here that this is a kind of a cleaner chart. And uh, the reason I'm showing you my chart is because I have other things on there that I want to talk about in a moment. But right here, you can see that when... Uh, when we reach the bottom of the market here, you can see that this is where the dominance started to deplete and the dominance came out of the stable coins and it came into crypto and it went into altcoins and Bitcoin and mostly into Bitcoin. As you can see here, a lot of this money came into Bitcoin. So there will be a flood very, 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 very soon happening in the crypto space right now. You can see here that stablecoins have been building up with crypto this time 
like I've just pointed out to you. And so what you can see is that since the inception of the, the birth of all these stable coins, right at this point, you can see here that the market cap of the stable coin was about $10,000, $10, uh, sorry, $2 billion, right? $2.2 .2 billion. All right. I just want to show you something very important that during this downslope that we're kind of having right here right now, during this downsloping momentum, we were building a pattern to really break up to the upside. And guess what? Even though we had a black swan event that took place, I'm going to take the measurement right from the bottom of the black swan because that was what the reality of it is. And if you look at USDT, which is the most dominant stable coin out of all of them, and this is those four top stable coins being USDT, USDC, BUSD, and DAI, essentially these all happened around this point. You can see here that USDT was a very, very conservative and shy $4.5 billion in circulating supply. I'd love to share with you where it is today, but just for, before we go and look at that, we went all the way to the peak out here, okay? And this is where you can see here that we started to top out. So we need to get out of, of stable, um, out of crypto, and then it makes like a huge pump back into the stable coins, like one last push out because there's an exit out of crypto back into stable coins, hence the push up. And then people eject their money from the stable coins and the crypto market while it's in a bear market and they take it and they go and invest it in other assets uh, like gold and property and whatever. So that's what happens generally with and watches and cars and property and whatever it might be that you fancy to invest in. But at the peak, okay, of this stablecoin market cap we can see here okay that the usdt circulating supply was an estimated 82 billion might i just add that is a fucking massive 20x on the circulating supply or stablecoin in as little as seven months uh we're looking at it like a year, two years. Two years, there was 20X, that's 10X a year. Imagine what's going to happen right now when currently USDT has been printing themselves out of existence and currently USDT has a circulating supply of about $115 billion. And I'd like to confirm that by looking at that. Actually, there you go, $118 billion at this point. And I would like to ask you, where do we see just the $118 billion coming out of that market cap, plus the 34 coming out of USDC, plus the 69 out of BUSD, plus DAI 5.5. In total, that is looking like about $250 billion that could potentially find other crypto assets. And hence why, if we go and we look at the beautiful... Uh, total three crypto uh, currency market cap the same thing is busy happening we're busy finding some support here look at this beautiful candle on my white box here right now that is absolutely powerful and incredible and so for me we're starting to build up a bit of a pattern that we're getting ready to go up now i don't want to go and show you any other coins um, in terms of altcoins at this point but we can have a look just very quickly at one or two the point that i'm trying to get at is that there have been massive, massive bull flag patterns that have been shaping themselves and forming themselves at the moment in this crypto space. And even to the point if, I don't know, let's go and even look at Pond. Pond is now 10th here on this crypto space. Pond, let's go and have the max on this coin. Let's go and look at the chart just very simply, very quickly. And so, see, it's doing this. We're building a, a flag chart here right now. So. We've made a pump, we're hitting a flag chart. This is massive for the crypto space. And I don't know what you're thinking right now, but I would seriously consider with the total three minus USDT divided by BTC is now looking really rather extraordinarily bullish, both, uh, sorry, on the MACD, on the stochastic RSI, plus higher lows forming here, plus a green candle starting to look Good on the monthly time frame so i don't know about you but this is going to find some 
very, very key strength right here on the 20 moving average on the monthly time frame on Bitcoin. And that will take us much higher. Now, interestingly so, you can see that when dominance falls, okay, this entire time, the Bitcoin, the Bitcoin dominance actually rose, is the right word. It rose and then it flattened out. And guess what? We've been rising this entire time. And so there's a turn of liquidity going to come into some of these alt coins that we can see very soon. Let's go and look at, I don't know, let's go and look at Ordinals. Ordinals is one of my favorite coins out there. Let's go and have a look at that. But in the meantime, I just want to go and share with you that with the market dominance that we're expecting to see here, we're already at $118 billion. Imagine the total amount of printing and look at what it is doing. Look at how this pattern is actually following the M2 money supply pattern right here. Because look at this pull down and this upswing right here. Would you not say that that is all of this movement that we have seen in this down trending in every single one of them? Now we are getting ready to actually look at this, this downtrend. We are getting ready to pump more supply. So not only is there already an existing about $250 billion waiting to come into this, into altcoins and, and crypto assets right now, but these guys are going to, the dollar is going to continue to print, stable coins are going to continue to print, and that liquidity over the next kind of year to year and a half, 12 to 18 months, is actually going to start to come into these risk on assets like these altcoins, etc. And so, my friend, I would like to say to you that with a massively dominant chart, you can see here, shout out to Oreo, Aurelian O'Hayan, AO. And so the Bitcoin bull run definitely begins once we get this breakout. You can see here, we've got this breakout bull run and then massive bull run, bull run, and then massive bull run. So maybe this little, the last bull cycle was just a tweak in the market, just like this. And so once we saw this, we had this massive breakout out of the 200 um, moving average here, 200 week moving average. And so we're literally getting the breakout currently happening on this on this indicator right now. That means we are literally about to see a massive inflow all the way pretty much up to, up to this zone right here, which I would say to you, would affect these bubbles because now you can see here that on the monthly time frame we can see which coins have been outperforming. Fetch has been one of the highest out of all of these, and this is only within the top 100. If we have a look at the year, you can see that pretty much me it's meme point dominant. And the reason I'm bringing out Audi because Audi has already done 350% over the course of the year. I watched this coin. I bought this coin at four dollars. I bought this coin down here. Look where it is. Do you think I've sold? Even one of my coins, you must be out of your brackets, China Beans. Uh, and I own a decent bag of these. And I literally have been waiting for this. Look at this down sloping trend line here that you can see that's busy developing. Do you think that we are going to see money flow into this coin and it to pump up like crazy? This coin was already up at like 90, 90, 80, $85 or something like that. $87. Okay. So for me, when you look at the Bitcoin rainbow chart and the Bitcoin rainbow chart is telling us that we're getting ready to explode through the next bull cycle and that we could possibly be coming up to like 300 to 450 odd thousand, I would be very, very patient. And that's just for the Bitcoin price. Now, imagine what we would have to get in the crypto space for Bitcoin just to reach 300 to 400 thousand dollars in its market cap. Well. I would like to go and actually work that out with you. So let's get my calculator and let's go and have a look at the current market cap. As we can see, is approximately an estimated uh, $1.15 trillion. Now, Bitcoin is currently sitting at, let's just say it hits uh, between, let's just say, let's just say it hits my target of $300,000, okay? Divided by $58,360, okay? That would give us a 5x in the market cap, taking the 5.4 times 1150974578387 current market cap. That will give us about a $6 trillion market cap just in Bitcoin. Now, that's a $300,000 market cap. I think that's quite reasonable. Okay. 
But what happens if we hit it on the high end of $450,000 of Bitcoin and we divided that by today's price of yeah, That would give us a 7.7x on this market cap times by 115097457837. That will give us an $8.8 trillion market cap on Bitcoin alone. Now, I have actually said to you on multiple occasions, I do see Bitcoin hitting between a 10 to $12 trillion market cap this cycle. So you can see that this isn't actually um, this isn't a hoax, okay? And this isn't wishful thinking. It's a realistic scenario, but it is on the extreme end. So that is what I will share with you. And so on the basis of that, if you think eight to ten trillion dollars, eight to twelve trillion dollars had to come in to this space at this point, just for Bitcoin, imagine what would come in for the rest of the altcoins. I mean, we could be looking at an estimated 10 to 16 trillion dollar market cap today we're only at a 2 trillion dollar market cap 2.1 trillion dollar market cap so my friends that is a 7.5 x gain in all of your crypto in total in your portfolio over the course of the next 12 to 18 months is that guaranteed no of course it isn't but if you're investing in the coins and the right coins that have already made moves but are looking at in the same moves ahead because they've shown pre-bull market strength right now. This is pre-bull market strength right now. Well, you have invested at the right time. And if you've been part of my channel, you would absolutely agree with that 100%. So much love and I truly appreciate you. I'm gonna keep this video light, short, sweet and juicy to the point. But the target, okay, by January 2026 could be anything from 300,000 to 450,000 dollars let me know your thoughts down below this is a wild scenario well thanks for being part of the crypto Plus channel community appreciate you we'll see you on the next one bless us all take care and have a lovely evening